Hey guys, welcome to Fishing the West. Got a monster order here from Tackle Warehouse. Um, about two hundred dollars worth of lures in here. So uh, I decided, you know, why not just do it on video? I think it'd be pretty cool to show you guys. I personally don't even know what's in here. Some of the stuff I do, and sometimes some of the stuff I do remember. Just the basic kind of stuff: crankbaits, spinnerbaits, um, you know, basic name brands, Normans. That's about as far as I could go. But anyways, um, ordered this a couple weeks ago, so looking forward to opening it. I'm gonna put on the video camera as well. Okay, I'm gonna start opening this little box up. Actually, it's a pretty big box. Love Tackle Warehouse. You know, ever since I got my order screwed up on those bigger um, outlet stores, the online outlet stores, I've just really been looking for something else, some other out online outlet store that I could be using. And uh, Tackle Warehouse has been my main go-to uh, company. Kind of getting into Bass Depot too, Bass Tackle Bass Depot. Start off, don't normally use the Repellas, but this is probably one of my favorite types of Repellas, um, the Rattling Repellas, uh, just because of the fact that they're, they've are they got Rattlers in them, and they're pretty expensive, they're actually on sale. Decided to pick some of these guys up. Great color for the tournament, shad color, a little bit of blue top, um, it's a pretty good lure. Little Norman's Fat Boy, this looks like it's in a little, uh, I don't know what specifically what color this is. Um, Splattered bass, pretty good crankbait. Uh, this is another Normans, middle D. Love the Normans, one of my favorite crankbaits out there. Great looking color. That's in a um, chrome Essex shad color. Bandit can go wrong with the bandits. Kind of like a wake bait or whatever you want to call it. Zero to one foot. Color is chart shad. Next up, another bandit. This one's zero to one foot. This one is in a pearl charred belly. Chad. Really great crankbaits. Got another Normans here. It's a little bit detailed, kind of like these, two to five feet. I uh, love the style of these Normans. Normans, one of my favorite out, one of my favorites out there. You can see the kind of can see the gills. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this one is in a um, gold SX Shad as well. Can't go wrong with my favorite colors, one of the fat boys. This is the Texas Shad color. I absolutely love this color. Got a great sparkle and the sun's out. Stuff really shines in the water. Got another little Repello here. I mean, this is pretty much the only type of Repello I'll buy, just because of the fact that Repellos can get pretty expensive. And uh, they, I find that they uh, kind of break pretty easily. But these ones are pretty durable, and they work great for largemouth. Another Bandit here. It's a little bit deeper. This one is in a blue splattered back. Right there, great, great color. Another bandit. Like this color too. Simple, easy. And kind of like those, uh, just the simple shad color almost. And I believe this one is a thread fin shad. Really great crankbait. Uh, got a strike cream here. Kind of deep diving one. Getting all these crankbaits up for the uh, new season. Uh, this one is. Doesn't say what color. I believe it's just a regular shad, I'm guessing. They only made that type of crankbait in one color. Another great crankbait, bomber crankbaits. Uh, my top go to crankbaits are Bandit, Normans, and Bomber. I uh, love the Bombers. This is a smaller one. Great spin cast crankbait just because it's a little bit smaller. Gets down there deep with a small presentation. Another Normans. This one is in a Essex shad. And last, or no, not last crankbait, there's still a lot more crankbaits. Another striking. You can see right there, this is in a, just a regular, made in Costa Rica. No color. <laughs> oh well. I'm, I'm assuming it's just like a shad color. Another one of my favorite colors, that yellow and blue, reflects great in the water. Two colors that reflect, or actually, um, uh, spit out light. In other words, it reflects light. Uh, are uh, white and yellow, so those are actually going to annoy the bass, going to have some light going off of them. Black is going to absorb it, so that's going to be um, kind of a trans transmitter or whatever you want to call it. Great crankbait. So, gotta love the ones. The Aruku Shads. Everyone loves Aruku Shads. Uh, picked this one up, made by Spro. Another great crankbait company. Rattling Trap. Uh, you know, these are pretty... Pretty simple baits, simple lures, but they work great around the Illinois waters. 
Mill Creek has been just killing them on the floating uh, rattler traps. I gotta love them. Not, not all these these baits are not for all waters. Um, Illinois waters just happen to be great for these these lures. Not even done with the crankbaits yet, you guys. I still got a ton more crankbaits. Another bandit. This one is in a chart chartreuse blue black or blue back. Love that color. Blue it blue and blue and uh, chartreuse. Got a little bit of a crawdad going, a bomber. Kind of like the crawdad, a lot of people don't think they work good, but the, if you get a shallow water crawdad, um, it actually does imitate a craw, uh, just, that, just the color, if you slow roll those across the bottom. A couple more crankbaits, another bandit, gotta love that color, blue and white. This is a pearl blue back. Another rattle trap, same color practically, this one's uh, still, still floating. And I believe that's it for the uh, crankbaits. I'm going to go on to some of the plastics. Got the 5 inch pocket crawls. Gotta love the pocket crawls. Just heard about them. Great southern bait. And now they're killing them on the, um, the northern areas. Illinois has just been great. This, this has been great for Illinois. Uh, great little flutter with the claws. Um, another watermelon, uh, watermelon jelly. Love this color. I've been killing them on this color. Uh, another tiny pocket craw. Another 5 inchers. Magic craw color. Pocket cross. Big, big trailers, you know. Those things will kill. Um, tiny pocket craw, Al Al Alabama craw. Great stuff. Got the little zoom uh, vibes. Now, a lot of these baits are absolutely killer for Illinois. And like I said, um, you know, you may not uh, personally find that these baits are good for your lakes, but they're absolutely great for Illinois. A lot of the pro anglers around Illinois use this stuff. The guys who fish the turkey tournaments around here. Uh, I said tur turkey tournaments, uh, uh, tournament circuits, fish these these around here. Another zoom vibe cross suggested by a couple people, and everything they work great. Another zoom vibe, and another pocket craw in a Okeechobee craw color. Great looking color. Up next, uh, I think I believe that's it for the yeah I believe that's it for the plastics. Uh, we've got spinner baits, spinner baits, and more spinner baits, and some monster jigs here. We've got some big jigs going on. Um, Buckeye spinner bait, a little bit of white and blue. Gotta love the Buckeye. Another Buckeye. Another Buckeye. This one is a pepper hog. Thought I might try these guys out. Another pepper hog. Another pepper hog, spinner bait. Oh, these are 3 8 ounce spinners, just to let you know. And this is another Buckeye Lure spinner bait. Love the Buckeyes, durable spinner baits, um, great sizes, great weights. This one right here is a River to Sea rubber jig head, or just a jig actually. I believe this is 3 8 ounce. Gotta love the uh, rattlers in there too. I kill them on the rattlers. Uh, this one is a rattling jig of Santone Lures, the Gamagatsu hook, stand up jig. I believe this is 3 8 ounce as well. I love 3 8 ounce. 3 8 ounce is the way to go. Pepper jig. Great lure. 3 8 ounce. Kind of a black color. Black, blue color. Uh, one of those Buckeye mop jigs. These things are humongous. Um, great big bass lure. Throw a couple of these during the tournament just to get a big vest once I get my limit. Um, another pepper jigs. Great stuff. Don't find these at the stores often. I have to kind of get them online. Another river to sea rubber jig. Love that stuff. Um, this is a Cumberland Pro Lures jig with the Gamagatsu hook stand up jig. As you can see right there. Satellite Lures rattling jig, 3 8 ounce. Another big mop jig, black and blue. Another Cumberland Pro Lures jig, black and blue, 3 8 ounce. Got a big 3 8 ounce satin lures. Uh, it's kind of got a little sparkle in it. I like that color, like pe peanut butter and jelly. And last but not least, another Satone's lures, rattling jig. Anyways, that's it. Great lures. I'll uh, start putting this in the tackle box. See you guys next time on Fishing the West.